Hi, I'm Jeff Axup, Director of User Experience at WebSense. In this short video, we demonstrate some best practices when working with WebSense modules. Thanks, Jeff, and I'm Kay Zimmer with WebSense Engineering. In this video, you'll find out how to use WebSense Web Security Gateway to help control use of the social web. Controlling how employees use social websites like the ones you see here is important because while many are valuable business tools, they also pose security risks and can reduce productivity. Let's get started. Go to Triton Web Security, which you can access from your WebSense logon portal. In the Settings tab, you'll enable the real-time security analysis offered by the WebSense Advanced Classification Engine. Click on the double arrows to expand the left navigation panel. Then go to Scanning and Scanning Options. Under Security Threats, Content Security, click On to perform advanced security analysis on content from sites with elevated risk profiles. Scroll to the bottom of the screen to the Outbound Scanning section and click Analyze for and block outbound security threats and enable social web controls if content security is enabled. Social web controls are enabled by default if content security is enabled. Then click OK and save and deploy. If you want social web controls to apply to HTTPS traffic, HTTPS must be configured in Content Gateway. See the Content Gateway Administrator's Guide in the Technical Library of WebSense.com for more information. Now it's time to set your policies. Go back to Triton Web Security and select the Main tab. Under Policy Management, click Policies. This brings you to a list of policies that you can edit. Let's select the default policy. Our default policy includes a category filter that we've created called Social Web Controls. We'll scroll down to the Society and Lifestyles Parent category then expand it and select Social Networking. The Social Networking category is permitted by default, so you'll need to change this if you don't want to provide any access to the social web. In the Categories list above Society and Lifestyles, you'll also find Social Web Control categories for specific websites like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. For these controls, you may either permit or block access. For even greater control, you can apply these access options to specific features within these social websites by going to the subcategory sections of each parent category. For example, if you'd like to prevent employees from posting comments on Facebook or sending Facebook mail, go to the subcategory section of the category called Social Web Controls Facebook. Highlight the features you'd like to control, in this case Facebook commenting and Facebook mail, then click Block. Finally, click OK and Save and Deploy. It's important to note that if you apply access options to specific features within sites like Facebook, that you can still access other features of that site that may be valuable to your work, because social networking remains set to Permit. Let's go to Facebook to see what happened. I'll try to post a comment. but I'm unable to. Or I can try to send a message using Facebook Mail. That won't work either. Combined with the power of WebSense's real-time analytics and threat seeker network data intelligence, WebSense social web controls can help empower your employees to take full advantage of the social web while also adhering to your acceptable use policy. We hope you've found this video useful. Thanks for watching.